Page 8, light and blue. At the top of the page they're talking about the thumb coming under. Well, I would prefer you go do my scale video on C major scale. Learn that thing up and down. C major and A minor. We're doing that key signature, no sharps or flats. And you'll get the thumb working there. That, if you can do that, this is a lot easier. Because all it is is the thumb is here, and you're just bringing the thumb under here to here. That's all. Both hands, really. You need to practice them both. That's why if you do the scale, you're getting both hands working. But there, you got to go into the third. And that, I think, is that makes this a little easier to do if you can do that. Light and blue, four four time, no sharps or flats, so it's C major or A minor. Well, look at the end. The, what kind of chord is that? Well, just look at this. It's the left hand. It's C major. This is a bluesy type thing, and they have a lot of accidentals, so the, the harmony is going to sound a little bit different, but you can usually look at the left hand and see what's going on in the harmony. Lots of eighth notes in the right hand. This fingering, one, two, one. Here. E flat and an E natural. They didn't need the natural sign. It would be a natural anyway because that flat is only good for that measure. And now we're in a different measure. But it doesn't hurt having it there. It's nice. It's called a courtesy. They're, they're putting it in to help you out. Then the first measure, the second line, it's a D sharp E together. Isn't that wonderful? It has an ABA above it. That means you go up an octave. So now here, you go up here. So you got a quarter rest to move. So the last measure of the first line is here. And then you up here. It's like an echo, and then you come back down. So fourth, last line. Here, same thing, 8 VA. Then down here, second finger. Second line on page nine up here. I'm getting this quite a bit, and that's fine. I'd encourage you to use that fingering. It's a good exercise to get you into this. Left hand has the broken chords or block chords. It's here. One chord, four chord. Last line, last measure of that page is five seven chord. And you get some block chords. Four chord, one chord, five seven chord. That's pretty much it for the left hand. Put them together. Is that rhythm bothering you? You just have a tied note there. That's what it is, but they tie the G's together. Think playing the other note, you don't. You go through the whole thing that way, and we come back and then we can add the. There's not a lot of articulation going on. There's an occasional staccato or accent, but the idea with this type of music is you got to get to know the music. You get into the music and you feel it, and you'll feel different articulations going on here. Soft at the beginning, that's the right hand. The left hand's very soft. So forth. Not a lot going on in that. At the end of the first line on page nine, there's a crescendo. You go up to moderately loud. Now this is tricky because you're going to crescendo on the left hand. Moderately louds for the right hand. So the last measure of the first line. And you're moderately loud in the left hand here. Until you get down to the bottom. In the first ending, you just. Then you come in back down because you know, I'll, 
I'll talk about first and second innings in a minute. And at the end, the last measure, there's a retard there. You just slow down a bit. And that right hand is one, four, five for that chord. A few more things we need to do here. I'll look at the last measure on page eight. Left hand, you have a staccato and an accent. There's different lengths of staccato. I don't recommend a short for this. I just it's it's less than a quarter note. So it's so I would make them short. You'll have to experiment. What do you like? Because it's an interpretive thing. How short do you want that staccato? It needs to be accented. Well, that'll happen pretty good. I mean, the left hand's been really soft, but here you can come out for those chords. And then you got to go back down for the other stuff. Now, there is a note at the bottom about long short. This is a blues style piece. And in a blues style piece, blues swing or jazz, genres of music, styles of music, when you see eighth notes, you just automatically swing the eighth notes. You just do it. And that means the counting isn't one and two and one and two and type thing. It is one and two and three and four and one. You actually swing the counting. It's a felt thing. You feel this. Just the eighth notes, nothing else. So here. eighth notes all over the place so yeah now at the last measure on page nine when you retard when I retard in, in blues I, I even the counting out because I don't feel a swing doesn't work real well slow so it kind of evens out so uh, those eighth notes can be even there it's an interpretation now there's some notes at the bottom of page nine it says the left hand can be played staccato what they mean is disconnected, not short staccato. Kind of a longer staccato. piece but that's an interpretive thing you got to get into the music first and then you'll feel this because it won't be legato that's not the mood of the piece it's more of a, 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 a they're saying on the repeat you can do it ABA except for the parts marked AVA, those you can leave alone, meaning that after you repeat it, the right hand, just the right hand, not the left, you can come up. But on the AVA notes, don't take them up another, just leave them there. If you want, don't have to, if you want. And then they also show this tremolo at the bottom of page nine, where these half notes, they give an example with the th all these lines going through them. Tremolo is simply you, you quickly, between the hands and the left hand, you see. And here you have together. I don't like tremolos at all, but it's up to you. I'll leave that. Just do it rhythmically. If you're going to do it, do it maybe 16th notes or something. There's no pedal in this. There's spots we could add pedal. I'm not going to get into it. But let's try this out slowly together. Now on these first and second endings, when you repeat, you go back to a reverse repeat sign, but there isn't one. So now you, you go back to the beginning. So you're going to play the thing twice, and then when it's second time, then you'll take the second ending is how that works. So I'm going to give us four counts, and let's play this together slowly, and I am going to do swing the eighth notes, but I'm not going to do the dynamics, so just the notes and the rhythms.
Go ahead and put your hands where they go. One and two and ready and go and one. to